Layer masks are a great way to hide and show content when you're working with image layers. But did you know that layer masks work the same way when you're making photo edits using adjustment layers? Let's see how that works in this tutorial. By the way, in case you're not familiar with adjustment layers, they're just a more flexible way of photo editing than making adjustments directly on a photo layer, using a command from the image menu, for example. So let's start by adding an adjustment layer to this photo. In the Layers panel, I'll click the New Adjustment Layer button here, and I'm going to choose to add a Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer. That creates a brand new layer above the background layer that contains the photo, and that new adjustment layer comes with its own layer mask, which you see right here. With this adjustment layer selected, in the Properties panel, you can see the controls for this adjustment layer. And by the way, your Properties panel may not be located here. It might pop out on top of your photo. So here, I want to increase the saturation. Keep your eye on the photo as I do this. I'm going to take it way up more than I normally would, so that you can see that this is increasing the color saturation throughout the photo. Now, you may like the way that looks on the sunset, but not the way it looks here in the ocean. So what we want to do is use the layer mask, the layer mask that comes with every adjustment layer, to control exactly where this effect appears in the image. Go over to the toolbar, and you could select the brush tool, make sure your foreground color is black, and then paint on the layer mask in this area to hide the saturation adjustment from there. But I want to show you another way that you can add black, white, or gray paint to a layer mask, whether the layer mask is on an adjustment layer like this or on an image layer. And that's to use the gradient tool here. And this is a great way to get a smooth transition between areas affected by an adjustment layer and areas that aren't affected. So I'll select the gradient tool. I'll make sure that black is my foreground color and white is my background color. And if it's not, press X on your keyboard. And then take a look at the first option up here in the gradient tools option bar. It should show you a black to white gradient. If your gradient doesn't look exactly like this, then click on this option. And in the gradient editor that opens, select the black to white preset and click OK. Now remember, we want to hide this adjustment from the bottom of the image, but have it appear toward the top of the image where there's sunset. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the image, where I want black to hide this effect, and I'm going to drag this line up toward the top of the image. Now the length and direction of this line will change the effect that it has, and you often have to do this several times, and that's OK to get just the look that you want. So let's try it like this. That's not too bad, but I really think that it's hiding the saturation throughout too much of the image. So I will try again. I'll start at the bottom, and this time I'm just going to drag up to about this far. And that's doing just what I wanted. It's showing the saturation effect in the sky, but it's hiding it where it was too strong down here at the bottom of the image. Let's take a look at the layer mask to see why that's happening. I'll hold the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, to show you the layer mask here in the document window. And you can see that it goes from black through shades of gray and up to white. And where the mask is black, it's hiding the saturation effect. Where it's shades of gray, it's partially and gradually revealing that effect. And where the layer mask is white, it's completely revealing the increased saturation effect. Let's go back to the regular view again, so that I can remind you that you can have multiple adjustment layers on the same photo. So you may want to try adding a brightness contrast adjustment layer, increasing the brightness in the ocean, but trying to hide that increased brightness from the sky. And you would do that by dragging a black to white gradient from the top to the bottom. So give that a try on your own and experiment with using layer masks on your adjustment layers to target exactly where your photo edits appear.